I'll get it right for him. A boutique based in downtown Johannesburg. His clientele includes directors <coughs> and CEOs of companies. Kamala joins me now to talk about his passion for clothes. Before we start, let's get that right. It's Acopalino Collezione. Acopalino Collezione. Yeah, Collezione. Yes, got to say it like that with that. Yeah, I hate that. Talk to me about when did you fall in love with fashion? When, when did it become the thing for you to do? Uh, I came to Johannesburg. I've, 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 I've worked uh, around in restaurants and mm. other companies. But um, I started loving fashion when I started working at the boutique. Mm. Uh, the first day I walked in, I said to myself, um, this is what I want to do. And mm. I didn't see myself doing anything else. And uh, it has happened. Um, I said, okay, as much as I enjoy working here, but you know, actually one day I would want to own something like that, and um, mm. it's happening today. Mm. What, what is it about the clothes that have, uh, that's created the buzz at the moment? People love the lines, it's clean, it's very stylish, it's very modern. Can, uh, can I get that again? Yeah, I'm saying, it, what is it about the clothes that people are loving at the moment? People are talking about it, there's a buzz about it. Is it the lines, is it the style, is it the fact that it's so modern? Yeah, it's the, the, the fact that the, the, the finish now, because it's now done uh, differently, mm. uh, uh, now we're more into this more like slim fits and, 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 and all that, and people enjoy that. And also the finish and the, the, the fabric also plays a big role in mm. and, and fashion. Yeah. Talk to me about that fabric, I mean, because that's obviously a big thing. Where are you sourcing the fabrics and what makes the fabric so different? What have you, what are you, what have you, aim, what have you aimed for? What are you, what's the target in terms of fabric? In terms of fabric, um, I get uh, my merchandise from Techie, to be quite honest. Okay. Because uh, Techie, they've got everything. They've got the designers there, and they've got the fabric. Because you mm. get uh, big companies like um, uh, from Italy, to make an example, they still go and got, go buy fabrics from from Techie. So there, you get everything is there. And I think what I like, they've opened a platform for me where I could uh, actually take my designs there, mm. and then they would actually make it for me. So what happened at the boutique? You started working at the boutique, uh, and, yes. and and when did you realize that there was a gap in the market? Uh, I wouldn't say uh, 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 there was that much of a gap. It's just that I liked what was happening, and then I looked at it differently, and I said I wanted to to add something on top of that. You know, um, like there's one thing that I did, uh, which 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 I don't think has ever been done. There's a wedding that I did for a guy, mm. and um, the suit. You know, when they're gonna brand it inside and put the name of the, yes. we actually had the guy's name and his signature which is very wow, amazing. That's very unique. You know, yes. Unique piece. So in the intro, we're talking about, um, you've dressed the likes of uh, Vusi Nova, Sunday Hena. Um, we talk about the fact that the clothes are aimed towards the, the CEOs and, and that kind of clientele, the company yes. directors. Was that, a, was that a, a conscious thing from the beginning? Is it, is it price-wise that you targeted that partic particular market in terms of who the suits are made for? Um, I would try by, by all means to, to, to make sure I keep my stuff very exclusive because uh, there's one thing that I've realized it's very sad to go let's say to a function and then you go there and find that you there's five guys wearing the same suit you know so uh, I was just said to, to, to create that because in everything that I stock I would bring about five uh, items of if you say a, a suit or a jacket mm. or whatever yeah so we try to keep exclusive like that how how do you find the the men's market at the moment? It feels to me like it's I don't want to use the word booming, but we we also had a, another designer here a week ago, and and there seems to be this focus on men's fashion at the moment. What are men saying? Are, are we tired of the same old same old stuff? Yeah, I think it, it has to do with that. You know, it used to back in the days. It we women would be the people who always about shopping. Yeah, you go to a store, 70% is women and 20% are... Um, yes, yes. Know. I think it is, 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 is just like diverse in a way and uh, uh, to, the, to the point where we, we all like more like 50-50 in terms of... Uh, because it's image, you know. It's, it, it, it's very important in, in whatever line of business you're doing. You need to make sure you look good and uh, yeah, you do your thing. I can only imagine, or I, I can't even imagine because I don't know what stylists go through, but how difficult is it to get the right look and what informs the right look? Uh, it is, I would always uh, advise my clients, because you know, you get someone who would um, uh, 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 want to have a certain uh, a look, but to find that the body structure doesn't allow that. Mm. So you, you, I would always try and advise them to, 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 
because you must dress according to your body. I yeah. believe that. Yeah. That means you're going to have to be brutally honest. Yes. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Stylist Devon Kamala speaking to us about his clothing range called Aklobal Palano Collezione. Kamala, who will open another store in June this year. You've got to watch the press for that one. We're going to have a break. We'll be back after this.